Hi everyone and welcome to Fashion Toolbox. So today I just wanted to go over a new feature with you in Clothe 3D, which is the auto convert to face. And what that does is actually creates an AI generated face for your avatar, either from an AI prompt or from an uploaded image. So I will go through both of those with you to show you how you can do it and we'll get straight into it. So to get into the menu, what you need to do is go up here to your avatar. And within there, it is this new function just here and that is auto convert to face. So you can see here in brackets, it does say better. So this is in better mode and it will keep improving, getting better and better. So you want to select on that and you will get this pop up. So you've got two tabs here at the top. The first one is prompt, and this is where you can do the AI generation from a text prompt. First of all, you need to select your gender, your age group, and your ethnicity. So we'll have a go at doing this. And what we will do first is select the gender. So it looks at the moment that there is only female. I assume that there is intended to be more genders there. So that is in progress. And for the age, we will select, let's go for 30. And then for ethnicity, I am going to go for Latino. And then you get the option to pop in some text prompts. So here you don't really get to control um, the hair or anything like that. So it will literally be your facial features. So maybe think about eye color. So let's maybe say we want green eyes. Keep it really, really simple and just keywords. You don't want long paragraphs in here, literally just key text prompts. Um, let's go for shaped, bushy eyebrows. Um, you could say anything here, you know, the shape of the nose that you want, if you want large lips, everything you can pop here. I'm going to say a red lip. Um, and let's see what generates from that. So as soon as you've got everything there that you like, just click generate and that will automatically pop you in a queue to generate the face. So we're first in the queue there. So there's not much of a wait. Just see what it brings up. Okay, so here we have our auto generated face. And we can then just select here on this convert. And what that will do is convert it into an avatar and actually apply it to your avatar that's in the window. So let's click on that. And this does take a couple of minutes. So just be patient and um, it will upload onto your avatar. So now it's converting to the avatar's face and it will apply it within a couple of moments. And there we go. So it does actually change the skin tone as well, dependent on what ethnicity you've chosen. So it has applied this face onto our avatar. It hasn't actually changed the eye color, um, which I don't think we can change manually anymore, which I will take a quick look at that. So if I close that window off just a second, so if we select on the avatar, we no longer have the option to actually change the um, the face, which is a shame. So she is stuck with the green eyes, but that's fine. Maybe that will improve within the beta. So the next option, we'll start again and we will apply from a photo. So we will have to reload the avatar in, otherwise it might keep some of the features that are here. So we'll go to file and new project. And then we will go into the avatar and auto convert to face again. Then here, instead of the prompt tab, we want the image tab. And again, select your gender. So we'll go female and drop down. And then I've got a wonderful image of me that I have uploaded to test out. So I will just go to that, which is here in the download, select open. 
so the thing about the image that you want to upload in, you need to make sure that all of your hair is away from the face. Same if you find anything on the internet, you want to have a straight on view, no hair on the face, and you need to make sure there's no shadows on the face as well. Um, so even this little area here of shading that's just appeared on my face, this actually converts onto the avatar. So try and keep it as smooth as possible. If you do need to do a little bit of Photoshopping, you, you might as well, it's fine, uh, but it does still work out okay. So we'll use this one. As soon as you're happy with your upload, just click on this convert again. Again, it will take a couple of minutes to actually convert it into AI. Um, but on this stage, rather than it converted into AI in this window, it will just apply directly to your avatar as soon as it's ready. So now it's just converting the avatar's face and it will be applied to your avatar. And there we have it. So to me, it's a little bit scary because it is quite similar to the image um, in areas, <laughs> but there is probably a lot of improvements that um, can be made while it's in this better mode. So you can see this shade in here that I was talking about, this is turned up here on the chin, but everything else is pretty good. It's got the skin tone there, all of the shading even like the eyeshadow and the eyeliner that I've got on my eyes, a little bit of smudge makeup that I've got going on there. It's really done a good job of loading all of those features in. Um, so yes, that is the auto convert to face in Clore 3D. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Really looking forward to having discussion with you and I'll speak to you all soon.